Golly gosh, I'm in weed heaven here. I've found some disturbed ground and all the pioneer weeds are growing rather vigorously. And I've found some purslane here and I thought it a good time to talk about that plant and how to identify it. Okay, so here's some nice specimens of purslane. Now the first thing you will notice is that they are prostrate. They are a ground cover. They grow along the ground. They could also be described as being decumbent, which means that while they are prostrate, they can have stems that grow up in more lush specimens. Um, they are a succulent. They are actually 92% water, very juicy. They have pink cylindrical stems that are not woody at all. They are succulent and snap easily. Each one of these cuttings you can put in the ground like that and it will grow a new clone plant so that's a nice thing about them. Purslane is very drought tolerant and it also grows in poorer soils. Um, they have a central tap root which can get down and get to water and they have fibrous secondary roots as well. The leaves of purslane are succulent and obovate, which means the widest part is at the end. They are paddle shaped or teardrop shaped, you might say. They are glabrous, which means they are not hairy. They are in opposites, meaning they sit directly opposite each other on the stem, or they can also be alternate. Here's a beautiful little flower I just brought in from the lawn. You can see how tiny the purslane flowers are, no bigger than about five millimetres at most. And the flowers open and close, um, usually opening in the mornings and close up for the rest of the day. And purslane flowers any time of year, just depending on the rains. Purslane plants form these little black seed pods which you can break open and find a plethora of tiny, tiny seeds. And you can really see why these guys propagate everywhere. They seed so heavily. I say, I say, I say, I'm just out bush swaggering and I see on the ground here some purslane. Now this purslane happens to be next to a couple of look-alike plants, one of which is very poisonous, so I think we should check it out. Okay, so let's look at this confusion of botany before us. Here you will see the purslane. It is a succulent. It has pinkish stems. It's very juicy. It has obovate leaves or teardrop or paddle shaped leaves. Very clearly we can see that. If you pick it, it has no milky sap. The second plant we have here is Creeping Cinderella. Also prostrate, also has little yellow flowers. However, this plant is not a succulent, does not have pinkish stems, and is simply not purslane. It is edible, but it doesn't really taste very good. And the third plant we have here, most importantly, is spurge. Now, it is prostrate, has pinkish stems, as you can see. However, it's not a succulent. The leaves are slightly different shaped, and most importantly, it contains a milky sap. Now you do not want to eat this, it is highly toxic, assuming you do not want to eat highly toxic plants. Right, and quick botany lesson, let's talk about the taxonomy or the classification of purslane. It is in the family Portulacaceae, a small family of 21 genera and 580 species. It is in the genus Portulaca, which is a genus of 40 to 100 species, and you well may have seen some of the ornamental hybridized species. This Traditional species, which we call purslane, is Portulaca oleracea. Purslane is an annual whose origin is unknown. 
although it is thought to be around the Middle East or India. It is now endemic to all the warmer climates of the world. Here's a site where a house has recently been knocked down. And I bet you anything, by Jove, we'll find some purslane here because it's a typical sort of disturbed, rocky, dry site where pioneer plants like purslane will take a hold. Look, there's some. And in fact, it's everywhere. Oh, look here, in this little crack in the road, it's having a crack at growing out of this little crack, albeit quite struggling and tiny leaves, very pinkish. This is very typical of purslane. You will find it growing in every crack. Okay, now I think it's around about time that you and I had a good chat about how incredibly nutritious purslane is. Now for a start, it's packed full of vitamins, including vitamins A, B1, 2, 3, 6 and 9, as well as vitamins C and E. Now speaking of vitamin A, uh, purslane has seven times the beta carotene of carrots unbelievable. Now beta carotene is a pro vitamin A which has powerful antioxidant properties and is very good for your skin, your eyes and your lung health. But Vait, there's more. Purslane is also packed with minerals, especially iron, magnesium and calcium, which is good for bone strength and bone health. And it also is full of zinc, potassium, phosphorus and manganese. But Vite, there's more. Purslane is also the highest vegetable source of omega-3s, which aid in growth and development. Purslane actually contains five times more omega-3s than does spinach, out of control. Now, omega-3s are also beneficial to mental health, especially depression. Now, not surprisingly, purslane has many medicinal uses. It has properties that are anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor and anti-mutagenic, antibacterial and antifungal. It is also a diuretic and an emollient, which means you can use it like aloe vera on burns and so forth. Over time, purslane has been used to treat many maladies, including headache and cough, stomach and intestinal problems, liver problems, arthritis, psoriasis and many other conditions in different places in the world. Purslane has been used as a culinary vegetable all over the world for thousands of years in many and varied dishes. Oh, and by the way, Z, my pal David Diggles from Brisbane Foraging likes to pickle purslane. So I'm going to pop some links in the description so that you can check out his method. Now, for my next video, I'm going to be talking about an extremely simple but absolutely delicious dish that I like to make with the wonderful purslane. Honestly, you can feel that plant doing you good when you eat it. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to see more videos like this one and please go well and happy foraging.